Hi, good evening guys. Welcome again to Chats Garden. Namiss ko kayo. Ah, medyo matagal-tagal na hindi ako nakapag-video kasi naging busy ako guys. May mga series of trainings ako related sa work. Pero, ayan, nandito na naman tayo. And thanks God natapos din. And our topic for today is about oregano plant. Oregano plant that it has many benefits. And I'm going to trim and remove this very lengthy and splendid stems already. So before I'm going to do that, I just want to show you my oregano plant, how I propagate it and some tips, care tips guys about this plant because it has many many benefits guys. And obviously we're going to cut the stems now and now we're going to cut i'm going to cut about this three inches i am going to uh, have this young stems because it's better to propagate this young stems and we're pretty sure that this will root guys this is a woody perennial plant it is native in the mediterranean regions mediterranean regions uh, like that of the in the europe part of asia and africa guys this one this spain portugal like that and uh, we have to cut this one we have to remove the bottom leaves and we have to stick it in the fertile soil or we can also water propagate this guys this is uh what they call this one this is oregano vulgare this is the scientific name it belongs to the mint family lamiaceae that one lamiaceae the family it is very pungent in taste astringent pungent with a little bit of sweetness guys so if you're really that uh, juicy or finicky uh, it's not recommended that, that that you chew the leaves and the stems guys because it's not really very good to the taste if you're very very juicy they are sold mostly as a dried leaves used in a culinary settings and um it is they use this as a dressing top dressing to some salads like that and it is also good as a toppings for pizza and other uh, foods just a little a little of it guys to have that um, pan, uh, astringent, minty, sweet taste of the food. And it is also good as an insect repellent, guys. I'm going to demo later on what I am uh, doing with this. I cut the leaves and I put it in a container and place it under the table beside the bed the chairs in the living room in the kitchen because it is also a good mosquito repellent or any uh, kind of um, biting in uh, insects guys this one it has this very very uh, suitable smell I like the smell of this also it also flowers guys it flowers hmm. oregano came from the root word greek word uh, oros which means mountain and ganos is brightness so it is called as brightness of the mountain guys well maybe because of its color which is green and 
flower it flowers uh, violet and white the color of the flower of this guys and uh, this is also made as an oregano oil which suits uh, wound healing and digestive problems like that and um, also it is used as a cough remedy cough and cold remedy they boil the leaves and they going to um, measure about two teaspoons in a glass of water or even the dried leaves you can also use it best way to use it as a tea guys this one and two tablespoon in a dried oregano in a cup of boiling water and it is very very soothing especially if you have a difficulty in sleeping and also have that um difficulty of breathing like that or sticky flames if you have cough and colds it is very suitable guys it is also known as a very good uh, insect repellent as i mentioned a while ago guys so it has many many benefits this plant guys and it has also uh, many varieties i only have two varieties in here i have this variegated one and like this so we have to propagate this through cutting and we have to cut about three inches three to four inches and we have to stick it in a fertile soil guys like this and we have to cut it uh, in between the nodes so this is the node this is the node and this is another node so we have to cut it in between this one and we have to stick this in the soil guys this one look at this guys i also have another one variety of oregano this is the variegated one look at this it has the very beautiful whitish splash of the leaves and it is very very less guys i'm going also to cut and propagate this one it is stayed uh, under the shade with medium to bright light guys it loves uh, being in the bright light or if it is already adjusted it can tolerate full sun as long as it is not that intense as uh, like that in the summer guys if it is like this in the Burmans in our country the sun is uh, shining the whole day but it is not really that intense now guys i'm going to plant this oregano in this uh, fertile soil i'm going to space it about 10 to 12 inches apart so that there is this uh, enough is space for it to grow guys and it is stays here and the shaded partly shaded area for about one week then i'll um introduce it gradually to morning sun guys actually this place receives a little of the morning sun so i hope it will um develop its uh roots that uh, easy guys and the other one i'm going to water propagate it guys Ayan guys, uh, I'm finished with it. It's a little bit crowded guys because, um, well, I cut more than what is supposed to be. But then I'm going to pull the other one it and then repat it guys when it is already rooted so that there will be enough space for the others yeah. i've noticed guys that this variegated one has a stronger smell stronger scent compared to the plain green and i'm happy also to tell you that uh, i stayed here 
for about an hour but I see no mosquitoes or any flying objects nearby or no mosquitoes ever landed in my skin guys so uh, it is proven and tested that it is also a very effective mosquito repellent i just observed and compared it with the other nights that i stayed here in the garden that some of the mosquitoes already uh, had uh, bitten me or had this uh, noise near my ears and some also few near my eyes and feet guys so there but now it's very clear guys no mosquitoes not a single mosquito ever ever had seen in my garden for tonight guys guys this is the one that i water propagated on this one i used an empty bottle of mayonnaise or any jar can do it is better to use a clear jar so that you can see or you can monitor the development of the stem or the roots guys and i recommend also that you have to tie tie the stems guys so that it will not be displaced guys oh you can it is better to use rain water or tap water also is okay as long as as it is not contaminated with chemicals guys this one i'll just wait for a week or two for the root to develop guys before i'm going to transfer it to soil or i'll just let it stay in this and i'm going to add some pebbles guys there here guys after washing the leaves i cut it into small pieces and i put it as i've said under the table or in the kitchen or on top of the shelves or beside your bed or beside the chairs guys anywhere you want to it has the soothing smell and it repels uh, mostly of the mosquitoes guys and it will last in about two to three weeks before you're going to replace it again it's natural guys and they also uh, mix it with or cook it with oil and they're going to to uh, ignite it and the uh, smoke will also be used as a, an insect repellent guys but in us in here because some of my uh, household members are allergic to smokes and the likes so I do this most often guys this is my way of um, repelling insects Ayan guys thank you so much guys for watching and uh, I hope you like our topic and um, always welcome to chats garden and um, please do comment like subscribe guys and thank you thank you so much to my uh, to my uh, commenters and to my uh, subscribers guys have a healthy and happy planting to us guys good evening thank you so much